Rebecca Weir, and we're here in downtown Lancaster on the Boulevard at MGS on the Boulevard with owner Paula Stafford. Hey, Paula. Hi. So, Paula, can you tell me a little bit about the history of the shop? The people redoing the Boulevard, Scott, everybody, all the, all the partners in the city themselves, they wanted a motorcycle influence down here. The original prospect was to move the whole custom bike shop, we have MGS custom bikes as well, to move the whole custom bike shop down here. And Scott had this vision of having Mike welding and grinding in the window and people coming to see. But there wasn't really anywhere big enough to handle that. And so um, we decided to just have a little store that had a motorcycle influence as far as clothing went. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you want your customers to feel when they come in the shop? It's well, originally I think the concept was going to be more focused on motorcycle riding than it actually is. Um, you can get anything here for motorcycle riding from boots, chaps, um, jackets, vests, um, gloves, helmets, goggles, glasses, whatever. More than we even have here. We have everything that's out there available to us. I was thinking of, okay, most women carry a purse. Well, to be on a, on a bike, you need to sort of scale that down. So I was thinking of, you know, just like um, a smaller purse or a bigger wallet type thing, those type of things. Well, as I looked and looked into these things, I was finding more and more cute things that weren't so bike friendly. So it kind of turned into more of a, like um, a boutique kind of for, for women on the back of the bike or not. We're here at Brooklyn Deli on Lancaster Boulevard with owner Tacho Manriquez. Hi Tacho. Hi Rebecca, nice to meet you. I'm curious to find out what's the history behind the deli. How did you get here on the boulevard? Actually in 1977 I started working for uh, Howard Ehrlich. It's uh, Scott Ehrlich's dad. And I started working as a, well you can't call it a dishwasher because, well maybe yeah dishwasher and then I went up and I learned uh, how to take care of the customers uh, with, with courtesy honestly and um, I did everything I learned how to cook uh, and how to prepare all the good stuff for the, the, the roast beef, turkey, pastrami, the matzo soups, uh, all the salads, the good salads. All this is healthy food, very good. So can you tell me um, if when customers come in to order, what usually is the most popular thing? What do you see just ordered again and again and again that people come back for that they just love? People, a lot of people that know exactly what it is, a pastrami sandwich, they go and they just say, give me a pastrami, another, two, three. It depends on the group, the family. Is, uh, that's how they, they go for one, two, three, but mainly pastrami. And of course, we ask you, what would you like on it? If you like mustard, mayonnaise, a lot of people don't know how to eat good deli. They ask for mayonnaise on the pastrami, which it shouldn't go. Or, but we have also the Sky High, which goes with Thousand Island dressing and Koslo on top of it. I mean, look at the, my number two, which is that, that's a great, it's turkey, pastrami, and Swiss cheese, and it comes already with thousand on dressing. And this is a combo here, with uh, you can have coleslaw, or you can have the kettle chips in here, and all the sandwiches come with the pickles. These are kosher pickles. These are real good pickles. You don't buy this in the market, trust me. Th this taste, I mean, you can buy jars or pickles, but not this. N nobody will sell it. This come directly from LA and they have a warehouse and they make them there and that, that, that the company has been there for years years and years and so when I opened it I had to have the same kind of pickles that I learned how to serve in, in, in the deli.
I noticed even the jeans here yes. are specialty yes. items. Can you tell me a little yes. bit more about the jeans? And um, well, right now, bling is very in for jeans, and most of our jeans are very blingy. Um, we do have some that are more or less blingy than others, but one of the other concerns was price point. So I wanted to make sure I could find product that was um, very affordable for me and at the same time could be affordable for the customer. So we do have um, both high, higher end price points and more you know, middle ground. So you know, we can buy a pair of blingy jeans here anywhere from $35 up to $98. So there's a wide range. So Paula, let's talk a little bit about the location. Why on the boulevard? With the rejuvenation, the renovation of the boulevard down here, um, we really wanted to be part of this new feel of Lancaster. Um, we thought we could bring something to it, and we thought it would be a good place to be. That is why we wanted to be down here, to be part of what is happening in Lancaster, to rebuild, restore, renew, rejuvenate. The, our town, our city. Yeah, with the outpack and the movie theater, bags, all the new shops, everything, people's gonna feel like really they're at home. As you know, the streets are low speed. On Sundays, it's a family. Every day is a family night, a family day. People walk here with the kids. They can come in, they can go anywhere and be, feel safe because we are safe, you know? And in this particular deli, you're at home. You don't need to go back east to come to eat a good sandwich. You're here, you got it.